Hey G fans, I hope you guys are ready. Legendary Pictures has released the final trailer for Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now we've already seen several trailers and TV spots, but of course they saved some new bits for this last update before the film comes out. There are spoilers here, so beware you've been warned. Otherwise, let's take a look at what's new from the last trailer. The final trailer begins with another surreal music choice with Somewhere Over the Rainbow playing in the background. We begin with some shots that we've already seen of the two unnamed titans. We then get a quick shot of Mothra in a Mago form as she snorts at Madison and Emma. Just like the last trailer, we hear that there are 17 titans currently being monitored by Monarch at some point during the film. However, here we get confirmation that they are following the Alpha Ghidorah. Kyle Chandler's character Mark Russell even mentions that if they stop Ghidorah, they stop them all. Then we get a nice quick view of Rodan as he first flies away from the volcano. You can even see the lava falling off the wings. It's such an awesome sight. We then have Ken Watanabe's character, Dr. Sarazawa, who can be seen approaching Godzilla in the underwater temple with some kind of device. Many are speculating that this is likely some kind of nuclear device that will be used in order to power up Godzilla. As seen before in other trailers, the humans slowly realize that they need to fight with Godzilla against these Titans. And we see even more evidence of that here when we get this awesome shot of the Argo unloading missiles into Ghidorah. Now this part happens pretty quick, but if you look close you can see Godzilla's tail as it smashes into Ghidorah followed by what may be the most amazing shot of the trailer, Ghidorah attacking Godzilla with one head at a time as they strike into him like a snake. It is so badass. And now to the biggest spoiler yet from the trailer. We've all seen this shot here, and at first some were speculating that this was Godzilla being dropped to Earth by Ghidorah, but then everyone said no, this is Ghidorah as it comes to Earth from space, just like its Showa origin would suggest and that actually makes a ton of sense. But take a look at the close-up here of that same falling object from the trailer. See the tail spikes at the bottom of it here? And look here, clearly this is Godzilla's tail and legs. Unless this is some other unknown titan that looks like the big G, this is Godzilla falling from some amazing height. Is this how Ghidorah defeats Godzilla in their first match? It's hard to tell if his back spines are sporting the new or the old look in this image, but I would take a guess that this is the old version, and that after Godzilla takes a beating from Ghidorah, Dr. Sarazawa delivers that nuke, powering him up, giving him the new look, and allowing him to be able to take on the Alpha Ghidorah. We then get a nice shot of Godzilla fighting Ghidorah in the water as he's pushing one of its heads underwater. Then a nice quick shot of Godzilla peering over a damaged building as he prepares an atomic blast, followed by an amazing shot of him unloading that blast on Ghidorah. Are you ready G fans? I know I am. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the trailer down below.